We are outside though, in a beautiful mansion here in Calabasas, celebrating Juneteenth. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling real good, man. It's good to be here. It's good to be out, having fun. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful people, beautiful interviewer. It's a good, it's a good day. Hey. Happy. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank now that we're outside officially, what was the first thing you did? Took a shot. You took a shot, uh -huh. and then you went to the Wealthy Gardens mansion party. Pretty much, yeah. How lit are you gonna get tonight? I wish I can get super lit, but I have so many things I gotta be doing and watching people over, so I'm not gonna get too, too lit, but I hope all my guests get lit tonight. Downtown yes. Wealth Gardens for doing this event today. Yes. So many beautiful people will be chilling here at the beach. What's good, Maddie? How are you? What's up? How you feeling today? I'm good. What's up, boo? We outside. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm having a great time. I just came back to LA like five days ago and I miss the life here. Where did you come from? I came from Dallas, Texas originally, but I was in um, Chicago for an acting school and I said, fuck that shit. Came out here. I'm going to act. I'm going to sing. Been doing great. Got like good following right now. So I love it here. Yeah. I ain't going nowhere. I'm actually going to be going places. Okay. Can I go with you? Oh my God. Of course. Yeah. What do you mean? You're cute. Oh, yeah. She's cutie. We are celebrating something big right now, Juneteenth. How do you feel about it becoming a federal holiday and finally recognized by the whole U.S.? Um, it's very important for a lot of people to understand the importance of the day and just like, you know, spread exposure. Like everybody needs to know what it is and what it's about. Is this, is this your first event outside? Okay, we outside with it. Is this your first event outside or have you been outside? I believe the fifth. <laughs> have you been outside or is this your first event outside? Me too. Me too. Me too. I've been outside a little bit. But we outside here at Wealth Gardens. We are here interviewing some of the dopest acts here in Calabasas. Shouts out to all the sponsors and everybody. What's, what's, what's good, Krishan? What's up? Hot. You hot? Yes, it's hot in this room. Has it been a hot summer yet? We outside officially. We outside. Oh, this is the first move. We outside today. Everybody was waiting for you to get here. I know I was. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Petey. I just bring my family out. Well, just one of them. And then, yeah, we just here. I love the support. Everything is going to be so fun. I'm excited. I'm excited. Blue, how are you doing? You just the whole like soul food restaurant out in Santa Clarita. I need to go check it out. Yeah, yeah, come through, come through on Bouquet King. Are you are you cooking? Is this like your your secret family recipes or what? Uh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> something like that. Something like that. Okay. I'm not cooking <laughs> it, but yeah, it's that. I need to try the Kool Aid, the blue Kool Aid. Blue's oh, lemonade. I, I do. No, no. I literally like. I'm I'm kind of fanning out because I do follow like Blue Girls Club, and that was my shit. Especially season one, like Krishan like has season one super duper lit and it's just cool to just see you like blossom as an artist and like everything that you're doing. So like I'm proud of you and I'm also proud um, just everything that's coming in your future, girl. We are here with some lovely, lovely people. What's up? What's up, honey, man? What's good with it? What's your name? My name is Courtney Kell. What do you do? Singer, songwriter, artist. Ooh, can you sing a little something? Wow. Um. Say a prayer oh. every day that your face will go away. Yeah. Sick of sitting around instead of wanting you there. I know that you're over me and that you don't think of me. Yeah. Just a little bit. Wow. Okay. All right. So as we know, y'all need to stay prepared out here, especially at the Wealth Gardens event, because you never know who you're going to meet, because, uh, I don't know, I'm sitting next to somebody cool right here. Who, who are you? I'm Rich LaRue. What'd you do, Rich? I used to sing until he started singing, but... Yeah, you are. <laughs> I'm totally joking. Nah, no, I'm a creative director. Ooh, creative director. This is the perfect place to do, like, shoot some content and everything, right? Facts, yeah. As long as you got the space and, you know, a lot of things around, you know. We are here with Wealth Gardens for the Juneteenth event with Devin Funches. How are you? I'm doing good and doing good. So how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop or a Bubble Pop? I don't do all that. I just got to add candy here and there. Make sure I'm alive. 
What's your your morning routine? How do you be staying so fit, especially up here in the NFL? Um, I probably wake up at like three o'clock. Three uh, in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Just chill and vibe, figure it out, and then uh, I don't know. Mine different. You can't compare mine to somebody else. So. I'm thinking three in the morning, but what time do you fall asleep though? I don't go to sleep. We are officially outside. Have you been outside or is this like your first event outside? Nah, it's my first event outside in like two years. So it's, it should kick it off well and uh, start the summer off right. Okay. And then for anybody wanting to go into the NFL, what are some tips that you have for them? I would tell them don't get lost in the sauce. Understand that it's a kid's game and keep having fun. I'm going to need a whole candy line from you, candy man. And I'm excited to see what you have coming in for the future. Shouts out. Thank you so much, Wealth Gardens, for bringing us out for Juneteenth. Wealth Gardens, you already know. We got fake life. Listen. Life is beautiful. Know that. My name is Charles Bascom, founder and CEO of Wealth Garden Entertainment. We wanted to thank you guys for being a part of our Juneteenth celebration. We really wanted to come together as a company with our clients and sponsors to put together a beautiful event to celebrate our culture and uh, for the coming of Juneteenth becoming a national holiday. We really wanted to also send a big thank you out to all of our guests clients and sponsors for helping us put the get event together. It wouldn't have been possible without you guys. We look forward to Juneteenth 2022 celebrating with y'all. Hope you guys have a blessed rest of your 2021 and stay safe. So your riches.